Hello, y'all. Uh, we're back with uh, podcast. It's Homo Manning and Detroit Fag. Rip Kobe Bryant, by the way. Yes. Legend. Yeah, we're recording it on the day of his death, and we're all mourning his loss. He was an incredible player and an amazing role model, and we're all deeply saddened to hear of his death. So, yeah, we just wanted to put that out there before this video. So. Yeah. All yeah, NBA but... teams, it should be like Jackie Robinson Day. Everybody should yeah. wear 24. Anyways, yeah. uh, with our Super Bowl predictions, last year Detroit uh, picked the uh, Patriots. I picked the Rams. I should have mm-hmm. picked the Patriots. I just knew they were going to win, but I just wanted to be ballsy. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Uh, well, guess so... what? We don't have to deal with the Patriots this year. Thank God. So we're good there. Or the Rams. The Rams didn't even mm-hmm. deserve to be there. Um. Anyways. Correct. I'm going to go first this year, but before we make our predictions, we'll talk about the Super Bowl. I'll bring mm-hmm, up some Because we need to drag right this out to at least 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, now, Mahomes, the Chiefs have two curses. One, the Madden curse and the Jersey curse. Um, since the past 15 years, 13 teams who have won it have won, won it in the away jerseys. The only two teams to uh, win it within the last 15 years in their home jerseys were... The Green Bay Packers when they beat the Steelers, and the Eagles when they beat the Patriots. So that's somewhat a mm-hmm. curse. I mean, cause, I mean, thirteen to two. But the Niners have the trade curse, which I think got and broken when the is. Raptors won. Mm-hmm. But still is a terrible record. It's like two and thirteen. Also, like the it's something like that. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> so. Uh, anything you want to say? I'll, you, you start first talking about this game. Uh, I'll give prediction first. Um, so, let's see. We've got... Let's I'll start off with the 49ers. Um, personally, well, let's look at their stats right now. They have the number one pass defense and the number one run defense, which somehow equates to the number two overall defense. But, I mean, if you've watched uh, their defense... They, they have the number one pass and the number two run. I think that's what it was. You said number seventeen run when you oh. told me oh. the stats. Wait, but, but you just you know, screw you. You just said they had the number one pass and number one run. That's what no, you I just said, said the number one. Pa- no, I said the number one pass and the number seventeen run, which oh. equates to the number two overall defense. Okay, okay. okay. Anyways, I mean they've got an incredible defensive presence. I mean that defensive line looks unstoppable, and they've got so much pass rush under there. And then they've got the corners that have stepped up this year, and they've got linebackers that can fill holes and cover and do everything. It's incredible what they're doing with their defense. Um, on the offense, excuse me, on the offensive side of the ball, they've got uh, the number two rushing offense and the number two, thirteen passing offense, which I mean is mostly equated to um, the ability to rotate running backs for the rushing offense and that they have a good core rotation and a running back by community running back by committee approach with multiple good running backs. I mean you got Tevin Coleman, Matt Breda, and Raheem Mostert who's stepped up. And then for the passing offense you've got people like Debo Samuel who has blown it up. You got you've got uh, George Kittle who's just George Kittle. Emmanuel and Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders, which was an ing- Incredible acquisition by oh. them. Oh, and, and speak- so speaking of which, yeah, yeah. Um, the Niners. I think the only two players on offense who have Super Bowl experience are Emmanuel Sanders and uh, left tackle Joe Staley. If, mm-hmm. if my memory serves me right, and then on the defense, I think it's just Richard Sherman. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, yep. Continue. Anyways, uh, so with the number four overall offense, I think. The 49ers are a force to be reckoned reckon with. I mean, they got balance on both sides of the ball. They can perform well. I mean, they've got Jimmy G, which, I mean, he's off and on. He could be incredible. Sometimes he could be non-existent. But uh, this is going to be Jimmy G's first actual time playing in the Super Bowl. Or starting, I should say. He probably played one snap sometime. But actually, no, he 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 never did. He's he's too really he, ne- he never backup, he never took a knee. Never in, did. Really. Nope. Interesting. Anyways, um, but 
the 49ers, I think, are the more balanced team here, and I think they they this is going to be a good game for them. All right, uh, uh, I'll down talk the Chiefs. About the Chiefs. All right, you can talk about the Chiefs. Um, I think Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL, without a doubt. That's agreed. Um, they have Lamar great... Jackson's incredible, but yeah, let's Patrick real. Mahomes is just Patrick Mahomes. If I mean, if you take away Lamar Jackson's running, who's the better thrower? And Mahomes ain't a bad runner himself if you watch that Titans game. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, you know, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, Demarcus Robinson. Now, the last two guys, you know, they ain't as dominant as Kelsey and uh, Tyreek Hill. But overall, they have, like, in my opinion, the number one passing offense. They've got Even a lot. They, they have it, a lot. Of, well, it's mostly because Mahomes missed three weeks. So, I mean, yeah, you had to deal with Matt Moore. Five passing offense. Yeah. But if Mahomes don't miss three or two weeks, what was it? One of the, it was two or three. Yeah. yeah. They missed three weeks. They have a top three. And this was mm-hmm. labeled as a down year for him, but really, I don't see it. Meanwhile, now on the defensive side of the ball, they got better, way better from last year. They lost oh, D. 100%. Ford, which, by the way, D. Ford, D. Ford is now playing his former He's team. now playing for the 49ers, and I mean, he's balling out over there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he does when he comes back against his uh, old team. And then on the Chiefs acquired Frank Clark. And Tyron Matthew. Now I know Clark's been injured um, in the regular season, but in the postseason he's had a he's had a great postseason. Um, basically, the Chiefs defensively, uh-huh. I think, is a, re- a really big reason they're they've made it this far compared to last year. Because last year, yes, uh-huh. their offense was like making you know history and all this stuff, but their defense was letting up big points. I think another good reason about this is because the to keep up with the Chiefs, you have to score more you just have to keep on scoring you can't like yeah, force you can't, can't take you can't, you can't be the houston texans that's what you're yes. trying to say <laughs> yeah you can't take punts you can't keep throwing picks you have to keep throwing the ball and that's why they have such a high pass defense but when you break them down and you start to run against them they can get decimated on the run that's why they had the number 26 run defense and i mean we saw it early in the season like when people were starting to figure out how the Chiefs operated and the Chiefs started losing or getting in close games that they shouldn't have been in. But um, they have improved over the course of the season, and I think it's now just going to – it's a shootout against them. Um, yeah. Damn. This is a really good game. Um, I'm still going to talk about it, but sh- should I make my prediction now? Screw it. All right. How far are we in? How far are we in? Have no clue, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make my prediction. <laughs> my prediction All right, you wanna go is a sense? bold one. All right, you ready for this? All right, um, my prediction I'm is gonna be a blowout. So everybody's saying this oh. is gonna be a really good game. I'm predicting Hello. a blowout, and I predict because this Super Bowl somewhat <laughs> reminds me of Super Bowl Fifty. Um, both uh both had good defenses. However, the best defense prevailed. And, you know, the Panthers had the better quarterback, right? Uh-huh. But it didn't matter because the defense. Defense wins championships. I'm going with the San Francisco 49ers. 44. Oops, put a dollar sign. 44, 24. MVP. Ooh. Actually, hold up a second. Ooh. MVP. Uh-huh. Uh. You don't know. Do you want to come back to <laughs> the MVP? Ward. Jimmy Ward, I'm gonna make All right, a shocker. Um, that is. <laughs> well, you already started off with a shocker with the blowout, but yep. Jimmy Ward, okay. Um. All right then. Actually, hold on. Can you f- actually? I'll fact check this right now. Uh, I was gonna say, when was the last time a defensive player won in Super the Bowl Fifty? Yeah. 100. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, Vaughn, that's right. <clears throat> so. Miller, Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter, but yeah. Uh, so I guess we're making predictions now. Yep. I am not gonna be as bold as Yolo, but I will still be somewhat bold. I think personally, people are favoring a team more than one team more than the other, and I am going to have to disagree with them. I mean, yes, one of the teams has the better quarterback, but one of the teams is just so balanced and so powerful on the other on both sides of the ball 
that they can, um, they can, they can run away with this game, I think. So I'm going to pick the team that had Joe Montana on them. Oh, wow, dude. If you don't get the joke, just look up what teams you played for. No, but I'm going to go with the 49ers. Um, I think they're pers- uh, I'm gonna go 49ers, uh, 34 to 27, and I think the MVP is gonna be Richard Sherman. I think if he shuts down Patrick Mahomes, if he shuts down Tyreek Hill and forces Mahomes to throw to other people, oh, and which, if he's... if they oh. cut off Travis Kelsey too, then this game is gonna be a walk in the park for 49ers. But the fact that the Chiefs have a lot of weapons, too, is nice, but they don't have a run defense a run game, at all. Yeah. And, I mean, when you've got three good, solid running backs that can all have – that all have break – well, not breakneck speed, but they've got good burst, good speed, good cuts, good cutting ability, all that against an abysmal Oh, before run somebody defense. roasts me, before somebody roasts me, Emmanuel Sanders, Joe Staley, and Tevin Coleman. There you go, Tevin Coleman, Super Bowl Fifty One Falcons. Patriots. Oh yeah, that's right. Also, that's right. <clears throat> Do you so, want to continue? Yeah, yeah, continue what you were saying. Okay, I so I mean, the run defense has gotten better over the course of the season, but it is I don't think it can stop this rushing attack. I mean, it's a three headed monster, and I know is Tevin Coleman playing or is he out? Um. I think he's playing. It's just he, he's a back. Even player. if even if he isn't playing, you still got Breda and the... Raheem Mosterhead. Incredible game. He okay, he had an he incredible is, game. He's showing progress, like, but he he, he, he is definitely showing play. progress. And I think that it's going to be the run game personally. And if it, that's what it's been all season, really. I mean, there was a stat I saw. Um, one of the wild card games they showed it. It was the Top four passing office offenses did not make the um they did not make the playoffs. I, oh, but the speaking of which, but the top four rushing offenses did. So oh, and the top five I uh, think, leader in passing yards didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I think this is going to be it's going to be on the ground. It's going to be an old time ground and pound game. Once the Chiefs get their weapons taken away, if they get their weapons taken away, and I think the 49ers are going to take this one. Um. So the team that everybody's been favoring, I don't know if you said it, but for me, I I think, it, I mean, it's close. My community tab, it was fifty fifty for a while. And everybody was... I've talked to has said Chiefs. Same. Yeah. Every, yeah. Next... Everybody I've talked to has said Chiefs. I'm like, okay, all right. Plus, I also have a bet on this with my girlfriend, so. I want the 49ers oh. to win. Yes. Um, crap, what was I going to say? Um, I, I could already see. I'm pretty confident that the Niners are going to win. I just, you know, I could already see the memes coming in. There's going to uh-huh. be Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend memes. Like, you start <laughs> celebrating, right? And then yeah. it's going to show them losing. There's going to be the Madden curse memes. I could just see this one coming. Oh, yeah. I, I already know the Niners will win. I think it'll be a fun and exciting game, though. And it'll be a good game. Honestly, I could see that too, but I just have a gut feeling that the Niners are going to come away like Green Bay, like they did against Green Bay, Minnesota. They're going to run the football Mm -hmm. on defense. I feel like they're going to get after Mahomes. Mahomes is going to be like Cam Newton, Mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. And like that defense. And he's not going to jump on the ball (laughs) when he fumbles it. And then blame it, blame it, or no, not even answer the question. And then two years later, Mm -hmm. blame it. I didn't want to get an injury. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think they're going to start off with the run game, and if they do get shut down somehow, they've still got Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and Emmanuel Sanders. And Jimmy G has an arm. He's got a pretty decent arm, I'd say. I mean, it's definitely not up there with Mahomes the or Rodgers, Stafford, etc. Josh Allen, yes, Josh Allen has the best arm in the league. Um, but I, I think that... If you take away the run, they'll still beat you in deep in the yeah, pass, yeah. and the, they're really yeah. good on play actions. Yeah, um, I could. Possibly... Uh, the play actions is gonna kill the Chiefs. I think. I'll make a bold prediction for the Niners. Mm. 
George Kittle, though George Kittle will have under 50 receiving yards. You He's think? He's such a good blocker. Yeah. And oh yeah, no. Kittle's best tight end in the league. 100. Yeah, percent Their leader. He's their so versatile. Yeah. Will be Debo. That's my prediction. I I can agree with I can agree with the Debo pick. I don't think Kittle will have under 50 yards. I think he'll have under 100 yards though. We'll we'll, we'll see. Here, should we should we make little Ooh. prop bets then? I guess. Here, I'll just make three right away. Kittle under okay. 50. Mahomes doesn't throw more than three touchdowns. Um, Tyree Kill less than, I'll say 75. There's three right off the bat. Okay, I've got three prop bets then. Uh, let's say, I'm going to say Kittle under 100. Um, Debo over 150. Oh, God. Yeah, it's it's big. And, um, uh, let's see, Mahomes under 350. Okay, against the number one pass defense, what a great prop bet. Fuck you, Detroit. I know. <laughs>